Hello, it's me, Free Spirit. I am walking north from Silverwood Lake, um, the Claghorn picnic area, where I just sat for a couple hours and waited out the sun because today was absolutely ridiculously hot. And tomorrow, tomorrow we are told is going to be even worse, which I do not look forward to. Um, but that's not a problem for me because I am most of the time a night hiker and I wait it out the heat and then I head out when it's nice and cool and breezy and beautiful like this look at all this green around me doesn't that just look nice and inviting it's not all hot and sunny and scorching looking and all the other hikers, for some reason, chose to hike this when it was boiling hot. I don't understand them. Uh, I mean, I see these hikers during the day when I'm sitting there resting. I see these hikers hike past me, huffing and puffing and grunting and groaning and sweating. And I just look at them and I think, you don't have to do this to yourself. You could just wait out the heat and hike when it's a little cooler. But... You know, hike your own hike. If they want to hike during the daytime, when they say the views are beautiful, and, well, which I don't understand because my view is beautiful too. Look at that. I get beautiful views when I start hiking. Because I hike around, you know, 5.30 or 6. It's still light for a couple hours. So I get gorgeous views. And then it gets dark, and then the views are actually even more beautiful in their own way. I mean, at night when there's a full moon and the path is just, the white sand in front of you is just glowing beautifully, and everything is moonlit and illuminated, it's just, there's a bug in my face, it's beautiful in its own way. It's it looks magical and I love it. I love night hiking. I don't, people ask me, don't you run out of batteries? No, I don't use a headlamp. Um, very rarely do I use one. I think it's a lot more fun without one. You get to experience it more authentically. <laughs> and I don't know. I mean, sometimes it's a little eerie, but I like it. I don't know if I just like challenging myself more than the average person or no the people who hike during the day are the people who like challenge themselves more than me because they just push themselves through the heat and you know and the funny thing is we usually all end up at the same campsite um, and sometimes even around the same time because their pace is much slower when it's hot and they take a lot more water breaks they drink a lot more water than I do um, and their breaks are longer and so when I hike when it's nice and cool I hike pretty fast I even run I love running down the trail so I even run often oh look at that it's beautiful flowers more flowers across over there I just thought that was pretty here I'll film the trail as I walk away for a little bit because I just think that's super pretty and I apparently like to interrupt myself as I talk. <laughs> so, I was saying their pace is slower. Uh, they take a lot more breaks. They stop to drink water, um, stop to rest. I don't have to do that as much. And I can go a lot faster because when it's cooler outside, your body allows you to do that. Um, and so we get there around the same time. And I didn't sweat as much as they did, so I didn't have to drink as much water as they had to. Um, I'm not as beat up and exhausted and sunburned. Oh, so beautiful in front of me too. I don't even know if I'm getting the, yes I am. There's the trail. Look at the flowers mixed in with the dry grass. I don't get any views because I night hike. You're right. <laughs> Look at that. I see everything. Be I see all the beautiful flowers. I get the views when I'm hiking somewhere up high, like there's mountains coming up. Um, 
I still see it nice and crisp. It's not pitch black when I start hiking. It is pitch black around the time I set up my camp, which actually doesn't bother me. It's not too difficult to set up a campsite in the dark. I actually still usually do not use a headlamp. I have memorized how to set up my tent without the need of a headlamp or, or whatever else. It's super easy, super quick, takes me under two minutes. Um, but yeah, I just think, it's not that I'm saying what I do is smart and what they do is stupid. I just like my method, my technique. I think I've figured out something that I like and I'm choosing to share it with some of you in case some of you would like to adapt the same technique, adopt the same technique. Um, and some of you maybe think it's, I don't know, as bizarre as the ones who are trying to convince me out of night hiking. But um, the only thing I would say is have a night hiking partner when you choose to hike at night. Right now it's still bright, I do not need one. It might start getting dark around the time I'm getting close to my campsite. I just think it's still pretty, the purple flowers. It might start to get dark around the time I get to my campsite and I'll only hike alone in the dark for just a little bit and it'll be only getting dark. It won't be, you know, like 10 p.m. dark. Oh, so pretty. But I prefer to have a night hiking partner. It makes me feel safe. Um, in case I fall down and break a bone, there is somebody right behind me. I'm usually in front because I, I don't know I like to be. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm out there alone, but I know somebody's somebody that I know is somewhere behind me. But um, I'll see. I get beautiful views. Get to see the scenery. But yeah, I prefer to have a night hiking partner um, because if I fall down and injure myself, there's somebody who can get help, who can help me out, who will find me. Whereas if I fall down and break a bone in the middle of the night um, by myself, it could be, you know, eight hours until somebody comes by. Not a lot of people night hike. I know uh, my hiking partner night hikes when, I, when he night hikes with me. And besides him, I know one other person. Um, the rest don't think it's a good idea. They don't want to reverse their schedule. You know, they don't want to sleep during the daytime and hike during the night. And they ask me, when do I sleep? Because they see me hanging out with them during the day. And I explain to them that I don't have to reverse my schedule. I sometimes hike till, for example, last night till 10 p.m. And no, till 10.30 or 11, I went to bed. And I wake up around eight or nine. Sometimes if I hike till later, till midnight, I can sleep until eight or nine or 10. If I hike till two or three in the morning, you know, I sleep until 10. I still have more than enough sleep. Um, so it's not that I'm nocturnal and I hibernate during the day and I hike at night. I still sleep during the night and I just sleep in a little later. I don't hike out at four or 6 a.m. like some people do. And it's just my preference. I like it this way. It suits me. It suits my my um, style of hiking. It suits my personality. It suits my preferences. The way I usually live my life is somewhat similar. You know, I would go to bed somewhat late. I don't go to bed at 9 p.m. Um, and I would, I guess I'd sleep in in comparison to some people. You know, I don't like to wake up at six or seven. Um, so it's, it matches my lifestyle back home. So it's not difficult for me. For some people I mean, who wake up at 5 a.m. for their jobs and go to bed at nine, I understand how it'd be tough for them to um, hike till 3 a.m., let's say, um, and sleep until 10. So yeah, to each his own. I just wanted to share with you my preferences out here, how I hike, what I like, why I like it, um, and show you a little bit of what's around me. There's the trail. There are the mountains and the trail behind me. I think it's really beautiful out here. 
earlier today we were hiking through kind of more dry desert on the way to Silverwood. And now leaving Silverwood, pretty flower. And now leaving Silverwood is um more beautiful. And now that it's nice and cool outside, it's less hot and therefore more enjoyable. Um, otherwise, let's see, what else can I catch you up on? Ooh, this video is already getting too long. Well, my foot is doing great. It sometimes just pulls a little, feels a little stiff at the end of the day, but pretty much no pain. It's amazing. Um, don't know what my aunts did, <laughs> but while I was staying with them, resting for a little bit, I started feeling really great when I headed back out on the trail. Um, so yeah, I am doing amazing out here. Still doing slow miles because I'm still testing my abilities. So I'm doing between, um, usually between 10 to 14 miles. Um, but I'll pick up my pace and the amount of miles I can hike in a day. Um, all that's gonna start to improve only gonna get better from here. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.